Hello everyone, welcome back to Mrs. Joy Food Channel. Today I am going to show you how to make the very best Ghanaian pizza with ground meat, but I am not only using ground meat, I am using my meat pie filling, which is ground meat, carrot, potatoes. So it is very, very tasty. So if you are interested, please keep on watching. For this recipe, you need 600 grams of plain flour, or all-purpose flour you also need one teaspoon of salt for this recipe you need half a teaspoon of sugar okay you also need about 375 ml of warm water okay to make a pizza dough, you need olive oil, and here I'm going to use 60 ml. And of course, you also need some yeast, and I have here one sachet of dried yeast. So, we are now going to proof our yeast because we need to make sure it is still alive, but always check the date. So, I'm going to add my sachet of yeast in my warm water, so not hot water, it is warm water. And then I'm going to add my half a teaspoon of sugar and then stir it and then I am going to cover it up and leave it aside for about 10 minutes and then it should start to bubble up so in the meantime I am going to add my teaspoon of salt to my flour and then I am going to mix it next step very easy I am just going to create a little well in the middle of the flour so that it will be easier for me to mix all the ingredients so now let's go back and check our yeast so as you can see it is now looking very different it is bubbled up okay it has a sort of foam on top so it means my yeast was still alive so I can use it all right so now you can adding the yeast in the middle of the well okay so make sure you add everything to it included the, <laughs> the little foam that um, formed on top of it okay right and then do not forget to add in your olive oil which is 60 ml of olive oil and now you can start mixing everything and normally a dough should start forming well now i am going to continue manually okay but you know sometimes when i'm very lazy i just switch to my stand mixer okay so this is how my dough looks like now and i am going to dust some flour on my working table so that the dough doesn't stick to it okay and then i am going to knead it for about 10 minutes guys so you really need to knead it right so spread uh, a bit of flour on top of it and start to knead it okay so as i was saying in the beginning if you are a bit lazy like i am sometimes i guess we all are sometimes just drop it into your stand mixer use the dough hook and knead it for about 10 minutes okay but if you are in a good mood just like me just do it manually like i am doing right now okay so now i am just going to shape it up just to make a nice little uh nice um pizza dough okay and then we are going to let it rise okay you know what to make sure your dough is perfectly kneaded, just press it and if it bounces back, it means it is perfect, okay? Alright, so now you just need a container, then you need to add in a bit of olive oil into it and then brush it um, in the container. Make sure you brush the sides and everything, okay? When you have done that, you can place your pizza dough in the container and brush a little bit more olive oil on top of it okay so that when you uh, when your 
dough will be ready it will be sticking okay and now you can cover it with cling film okay and we're going to let it sit until it doubles up in size so ideally two hours should be fine if you're not in a hurry but usually maybe 30 minutes it should be fine and now the ingredient for the tomato sauce so i'm using tomato passata italian it's tomato sauce i'm going to use two chopped onion for the spices i've got italian herbs chili powder and some salt so it's a teaspoon of everything and now the most important i am going to use my meat pie filling so the idea is i made some meat pie and i had a lot of leftover and i said okay why not make um a pizza with it and i knew it would taste great but if you don't have it just use ground beef okay and of course you can't have pizza without cheese and i'm going to use mozzarella cheese on top okay i'm going to use a bit of garlic salt uh, a bit of vegetable oil for my tomato sauce so now let's get started so in a cooking pot add about one and a half tablespoon of vegetable oil if you want to use olive oil please go ahead and use it and let it heat up when the oil is hot enough you can start to fry your onions so I am using two little onions and if you want to add shallots please go ahead and use shallots it's even better i really love the taste okay so let it fry for about two to three minutes so now i am going to add my tomato passata in fact it is italian tomato passata which is just a tomato puree let's say but you could use uh, canned tomatoes uh, chopped tomatoes any tomato sauce you like okay then i am going to give it a little stir okay and let it cook for about three to five minutes on a medium heat to low okay next i am going to add my seasoning so one teaspoon of italian herbs one teaspoon of african chili powder and one teaspoon of salt to taste okay so always make sure you taste it because you might need more of this of that seasoning okay and now um this is optional but you know i'm a big Fan of garlic so I'm adding half a teaspoon of uh, garlic salt it's just a mixture of salt and garlic but if you can't find that one you can just use garlic granules or garlic powder it's not very important now stir it leave it to cook for about another four to five minutes and your stew is ready or your sauce so now back to our dough as you can see it has doubled up in size so it means it is ready so now I am just going to remove the gas from it. Just, just give it a little uh, bit down and then it should go down and get smaller. So now guys, I know it is a bit annoying, but you need to uh, need it just a little bit more, just about one or two minutes, okay? So just a bit of flour on your working table, put your dough on it, sprinkle some flour on it, okay? And now knead it for about one or two minutes okay not for long because the dough is ready and then shape it up so one thing you should know is that this dough is good to make about four pizzas yes guys four pizzas so just cut it into four okay unless you want to make even more pizzas you can cut smaller sizes okay if you want to make small pizzas and then shape it up into a little bowl and freeze the remaining pizza dough okay so now i'm just going to make one pizza to show you so i have my little pizza dough sprinkle some flour on it and then now i am going to use my rolling pin to flatten it down okay right if you do not have a rolling pin just do it manually okay you don't really really need it. it's not that necessary 
so now this is my pizza thin it's what I decided to use today so I am now going to dust some flour on it and then I am going to spread my pizza dough on it okay just like that I can even stretch it a bit more with my finger so that it's a little bit bigger okay all right now you need to poke some holes with um, a fork okay so that it will keep the pizza dough flat okay so just poke a few holes and then it is time to decorate it so you need to first start with your tomato sauce okay so you can add as much tomato sauce as you like okay and trust me this tomato sauce is very nice it was shown to me by my greek family and i'm always holding on to it because it's extra fantastic okay all right so now i have got my tomato sauce and i am going to add a bit of uh, mozzarella cheese to it if you don't like mozzarella please use another type of cheese okay if you prefer mozzarella balls use that one but this is a very very simple uh, african style Ghanaian style pizza and then you can start to spread your ground beef or your uh, leftover meat pie filling just like I am doing and add as much meat as you like okay and then to finish sprinkle some more mozzarella cheese on top or any other cheese you like okay guys this is your own pizza I have preheated my oven at 180 degrees Celsius and now I'm going to place my pizza in the middle rack of the oven and bake it for about 20 to 30 minutes it depends on the type of oven you have okay but usually between 20 and 30 minutes should be fine okay so my pizza is ready it's out of the oven and I'm just going to cut it with my pizza cutter if you don't have a pizza cutter just use a knife okay and this is it it is smelling very good and here I am going to show you a close-up of a slice of my Ghanaian uh, pizza okay and now time to taste it my dear friends I'm so excited to taste this pizza this Ghanaian pizza with meat pie filling it's so easy to make so shall we taste it now mmm mmm you want some Mmm, it's awesome. That's awesome, guys. I must try. I must try pizza. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, guys, so this is the end of my recipe. Um, I showed you how to make a Ghana style pizza with um, meat by leftovers. As I said, if you don't have it, you can just use ground beef. Okay and use it the way you like it but this is a very simple recipe that you really need to try if you like pizza okay so thank you all for watching this recipe and i see you next time for another mrs Drew food great recipes thank you and bye bye